Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the variation of acceleration due to gravity above the Earth's surface and below the Earth's surface. Now, variation of acceleration due to gravity that is g above earth's surface consider earth as a uniform sphere of mass m and radius capital r let us consider an object of mass small m which is placed at some height above the Earth's surface, say at point A, such that the distance of this point from the center of the Earth is given by, this distance is given by, smaller. Or in other words, we can say that the distance of this point A from the surface of the Earth is given by small h. That means the object is raised to a height h above the Earth's surface. Now we know that the Earth is attracting this object towards its center with some force. And that force we call it as mg. So f is equal to mg. Here instead of g we write g dash because acceleration due to gravity we take g on the surface of the earth and apart from that above the surface of earth or below the earth's surface okay, we can mm, consider it to be g dash and not g. Because the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface is different okay, uh, than the acceleration due to gravity any point above the Earth's surface or below the Earth's surface. So we take G dash. Now Newton says that the force of attraction between these two bodies will be F is equal to G product of their masses means mass of the Earth into mass of the object divided by square of the distance between them here the square between here the distance between the object and the center of the earth is given by smaller so smaller square it is according to newton's law which we have seen in the previous video now you compare the two equations then we see that mg dash is equal to g m m by smaller square so m m gets eliminated so your g dash will be g m by r square now i can write r in terms of h now we see that the radius of the earth is capital r okay so the distance between the center of the two bodies will be capital R plus H so in that case your G dash will be now G M by R plus H square from this relation we see that G dash is inversely proportional to R square that means as R increases the value of g dash decreases that means if r increases means if an object goes away from the center or if an object goes away from the surface of the earth then the acceleration due to gravity decreases now on in the previous video we have seen that on the surface of the earth means on earth's surface the acceleration due to gravity, g, is given by the expression gm by 
rate r square where m is the mass of the earth and r is the radius of the earth that is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth now we compare the two relations or suppose this is your equation one this is your equation two we can divide equation one by two and see what is the result now as we divide equation one by two equation one divided by two we see that g dash by g will be equal to g dash is your g m by r plus h square okay that is your g dash divided by g which is g m by r square now this gives you g m by r plus h holding square into r square by g m so this gives you the expression r square by r plus h square now i can rewrite r square as this one by r plus h square by r square rewriting r okay so from here we see that this is one by r plus h by r the holding square or we see that g dash by g is now equal to one by r divided by r one plus h by r the holding square or this gives you g dash by g is equal to 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2 or g dash will be equal to g times 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2 so this is the expression for acceleration due to gravity when the object is raised to some height say h above the surface of the earth now we will consider a special case we'll consider a special case in which uh, we will find it by using the binomial expansion in the binomial expansion 1 plus x to the power minus n okay so as we expand this if x is very 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 small as compared to 1 then the expansion of 1 plus x to the power minus n gives you 1 minus I repeat in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the power minus n if x is very 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 small as compared to 1 then 1 plus x to the power minus n gives you 1 minus 2x so in a special case okay if this okay we found that g dash is equal to g 1 plus h by r whole to the power minus 2 now say that the object is at some height say a few meters above the earth's surface okay say 1000 meter or okay which is equal to 1 kilometer so if h is one kilometer now we know that radius of the earth is 6400 kilometer now then one by 6400 gives you a result which is very 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 less than one or say that you are at the top of the mount everest the object is at the top of the mount everest say the mount everest is eight kilometers so eight kilometers by 6400 kilometer this gives you a very very small quantity which is less than one so in a very special case okay if h by r is very very small as compared to one then the binomial expansion will give you g dash is equal to g now reference to one plus x to the power minus n if x is very very less than one then one plus x to the power minus n gives you one minus two x so using that 1 minus 2x so 2 into your axis h by r 
So your g dash will be g 1 minus 2h by r, which gives you another expression for the acceleration due to gravity when an object is raised to some height above the Earth's surface. Now the second one, we are going to find out the expression for acceleration due to gravity when an object is, is at some depth below the Earth's surface. So variation of g below Earth's surface. Let's consider Earth as a uniform sphere of radius R and mass M, capital M. This time let us consider that the object is at some depth, say H, below the Earth's surface. Okay, okay let an object of mass M be at some depth, say H, below the Earth's surface. Now, let this point be A. Through this point A, we will draw another sphere. Draw another sphere. Now, let us say that this point is now at a distance R from the center of the Earth. This time, the Earth will attract this object of mass M towards its center due to only this much portion of the Earth. Say that this much portion of the Earth has mass M dash. Okay. Here mass of the object is small m, mass of the Earth is capital M, and mass of this much portion of the Earth will be now M dash. So this time the Earth will be attracting this object towards its center okay, due to this much portion of the earth of mass m dash. So that force will be given by m g dash, where g dash is the acceleration due to gravity at this point A. Now Newton says that the force is also given by g product of the masses of the two bodies means m dash into small m by square of the distance between their center here, it's smaller, so smaller square. So comparing the two relations, we see that m g dash will be equal to g m dash m by r square. Small m, small m gets eliminated. Okay. So your g dash will be g m dash by small r square. Now, if rho is the density of the earth, rho is the density of earth, then the density is given by mass per unit volume. So, your mass will be given by rho density, rho into volume. Now here we are considering a portion of the earth of mass m dash because the earth is exerting a force on the object due to only this much portion that is of mass m dash. So mass of this much portion of the earth will be m dash is equal to rho density into volume this much volume of the earth now this much portion of the earth has radius small r so volume of the sphere of radius small r means 4 by 3 pi small r cube now using this this above relation g dash therefore your g dash becomes your g dash becomes g capital g now m dash can be replaced by rho 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by r square. So divided by r square. So r square, r square cancels out. So g dash is now equal to 
4 by 3 pi r rho g. So this is one of the expression for the acceleration due to gravity when the object is at some depth below the Earth's surface. Now here we see that g dash is directly proportional to small r. Now this is your small r. g dash is directly proportional to small r means as r increases, that means as you move towards the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to gravity increases. Now the acceleration due to gravity increases as we go towards the surface of the Earth and becomes maximum on the surface of the Earth. And as we go away from the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to gravity decreases. So this is one of the required relation. Now, for the Earth of mass capital M and radius capital R, the density will be given by mass per unit volume. So mass by volume of dirt of radius capital R is 4 by 3 pi capital R cube. Now we substitute the value of R in this equation, that is equation number 1. Now from 1, your g dash is 4 by 3 pi small r into rho. Rho will substitute as capital M by 4 by 3 pi capital R cube into G. 4 by 3, 4 by 3 pi pi gets eliminated. So from here we get your G dash to be GM small r by R cube. Now, if G is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, it is on Earth's surface, then we know that G is given by the expression Gm by R squared. M is the mass of the Earth, R is the radius of the Earth. Now you compare this equation number 2 and 3, that is dividing equation 2 by 3. Dividing 2 by 3. And we see that G dash by G will be GMR by R cube divided by GM by R square. Or G dash by G will be equal to GM small r by R cube into R square by GM. GM, GM, R square, R square. So we get G dash is equal to G into small r by capital R. Now if we express R in terms of H, then here we see that, okay, now if the radius of the earth is capital R, then small r will be given by capital R minus H. In that case, here G dash will be given by G. Small r means capital R minus H by capital R. So that gives you G dash is equal to G 1 minus H by R. So this relation gives you the acceleration due to gravity when the object is at some depth below the Earth's surface.